Earlier this week, the U.S. Mint released its Dr. Sally Ride quarter, which is the second quarter in the five American women's quarters that are coming out this year. Um, the American Woman Woman the American Women's Quarters Program is going to be a four-year series that celebrates the accomplishments and the contributions made by women to the de uh, development and the history of the United States. And that collection is going to span 2022 to 2024. And our box came in the mail today from the U.S. Mint. So let's uh, jump in and see what's in it. We all know how it goes with me and boxes, especially from the Mint. However, it looks like they've given us a different box this time instead of the impossible to open boxes that they usually ship. It's just a regular, and it's heavy. It's I put it on the scale when it got here. It's uh, it's almost four pounds. Um, so I am going to use the magic of video to get into this box. And when we return, I should have the box open and the items taken out of it. And here we have our white mint sealed packages that tell us what we have inside this package, not coming into focus, is the 2022 uh, Dr. Sally Ride PD&S American Women's Quarters. Um, and I ordered two of them. Um, I believe in the collectability of, of these coins. So I ordered two PD&S sets. Um, and I am going to are you focused I don't know I'm gonna crack these open let me find the tab it's a pull tab pull tab pull it open slide out the tray and there we have our PDNS 2022 Dr. Sally Wright quarters. But before we crack open any of these rolls and take a look at the details of the quarters, I think we need to take a look at who Dr. Sally Wright was and why she has the honor of being put on a quarter. So let's jump to the desktop. Dr. Sally Wright was born in 1951 and passed away from cancer in 2012. She graduated from Stanford University with a Bachelor's of Science in Physics and a Bachelor of Arts in English Lit. She was the only female physics major at Stanford at the time. Um, she then went on to get a Master's in Physics and then a PhD in Physics specializing in astrophysics and free electron lasers. Um, and just to put a definition on it in case people aren't sure what astrophysics exactly means, it's the science that uses physics and chemistry to help understand objects and events that occur in space. She was also a good tennis player. Uh, she was ranked number one at Stanford, um, and she originally wanted to be a pro, but then realized that she wasn't quite that good. And so she, cho she chose to focus on science and physics in particular. Uh, she quit pro uh, tennis in protest over Stanford not joining the Pac-8 conference. And I don't know... A whole lot about that. I just thought it was interesting. Not, um, I think it's important to her makeup to understand how she became so successful and, um, how she wound up being the first American in space to understand that, that she, um, probably wouldn't let people, I don't want to say push her around, but she probably stuck to her guns and stood up for what she believed in. And when people told her, you can't be an astronaut, she didn't listen and she did what she wanted to do. Um, I think that's important. Um, she was the first woman in space uh, in June, uh, June 24th of 1983, mission STS-7. She was a mission specialist and that mission specialized in satellite launches. And she was also the youngest American astronaut in space at that time. Her specialty was the payload arm. So as they launched things into space or had to retrieve them, her job was to control the arm, to reach out into space and grab it and pull it back in. Um, and then on October 5th, 1984, 
uh, space shuttle mis mission. <laughs> Space Shuttle Mission STS-41G. She was once again the mission specialist. And that mission had to deal with um, high-resolution camera experiments and a spacewalk. And it was also the first U.S. space mission that had two female astronauts. After NASA, she became a physics professor at University of, Candy University of California, San Diego. And then, you know, she passed away in 2012 from cancer. And then in 2013, President Obama awarded Dr. Sally Ride the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And that's the highest honor that he could bestow upon her. Um, I think her importance to, other than being the first woman in space, I can remember from back in that time, when I was in high school in the mid-80s, and... Even back then, and I didn't realize it at the time, like I can't remember a situation where I ever heard a conversation like this, but then um, my future self in psychology classes in college learned that women were told that they weren't good at science and math. So a lot of women didn't strive to obtain careers in science and math almost because they were given a reason to not, if you're told that you're not going to be good at something, a lot of people aren't going to try. And so when you don't try and you don't strive, that just proves what people are saying, that you weren't going to be good at it. Um, and so that stereotype is important to overcome. And so to me, it's important that people like Dr. Sally Ride set examples for why girls should try for science and math and strive to be the best that they can be. Um, and so I think that it's very important that she was the first woman in space and that we, she's being recognized for that. I think it's an important educational tool for girls coming up who don't believe that they are good in science and math. Um, anyhow, that's all I wanted to say about Dr. Sally Ride. Now I think it's time we bust open one of these rolls and take a look at the coin. It's time to break into this roll and take a look at the coin for the first time instead of just looking at the illustrations that we've been seeing for the past few months. Oh, this one doesn't want to open as easily as the last one did. Of course it doesn't. Or is it just my knife isn't sharp enough? There we go, hold on. Stay there. Let me put the knife away. And we can break out. Of course you can't see what I'm doing because my hands are in the way. I'm just taking a quarter out. And there we have it. This is, of course, the heads, or as coin collectors call it, the obverse. Um, and I had made mention that they had changed the, the, the design of the obverse for this American Women's Quarter Series. And the design that they've chosen is sort of important um, because it sort of applies with the women in history. Uh, the obverse was designed by a woman named Laura Garden Frazier. And it was actually the original uh, part of one of the original designs that was going to be considered for the 1932 Washington Quarter. But they chose to go with a different designer instead. So this design has been in the mints library or catalog or files or whatever since 1932 so 90 years so it's kind of cool that they finally use that and then on the heads or the tail side which is known as the reverse whoa sorry 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 let me instead of hold it in my hand let me hold it like this so this is um an image of dr sally ride and that's supposed to be a window on the space shuttle looking out over Earth. And the reason they chose this design is that she has a quote that I guess she's really uh, well known for. It must have been in an interview after uh, one of her uh, space shuttle flights. She said, but when I wasn't working, I was usually at a window looking down on Earth. And so I don't know if they're called portholes on the shuttle, but on a ship that would be a porthole, a window looking down um, out over the earth. So I think that's really cool. Um, once again, 
the obverse with George Washington and the new right facing design for 2022. And this coin is from the Philadelphia Mint. And I'm going to make the same offer that I did for the Maya Angelou. Oh, you can't really see that very well, can you? For the Maya Angelou uh, coin. And that is, oops, that didn't work. I was trying to find a way to set this up. It didn't work because of the glare. Anyhow, same offer I made for the Maya Angelou quarter. That if anybody wants one, um, I will put my email address down below. And the first 10 people to email me. I will send them out um, a Dr. Sally Ride P quarter for them to take a look at. Anyhow, that's really it for this video. Um, once again, if any of you all have any questions, concerns, criticisms, or comments, please leave them in the field down below. Don't forget, if you are interested, the first 10 people to email me in the email address in the description, I will send, email me with, I'm sorry, email me with your address so I know where to send it. I will send you uh, a Dr. Sally Ride quarter. And that's really all other than me telling everybody that I hope you have a great week. Editor Andark here. I just wanted to point out that when I was discussing the facts about Dr. Sally Ride, I mistakenly said that she was the first American in space uh, at one point, and I did not mean that. I meant that she was the first American woman in space, so I just wanted to make that correction before anybody else caught it. Anyhow, if you see or hear anything else that I've made a mistake on, please feel free to leave the comment down below. Thanks.